Hi, my name is Emelina and this course period, along with four other students, we are working with the Maastricht University Library Special Collections. Using books from this collection, our aim is to analyze and compare the content from these books with our current day knowledge on the topic of botany. Due to corona, this period is fully online, which requires a lot of really good communication between the group members in order to make things work. It's only the end of the first week, but so far the experience has been really, really good. We've already had a virtual tour of the special collections, which was really interesting to see and be able to look at all of these really interesting older books. We've also learned quite a lot about different search strategies that we can use, which will be really useful for finding resources related to this project. One minor struggle that, um, in my opinion, we have experienced is trying to find a digital version of all of these books since they're not all available online. We did already manage to find two books that we are in the process of analyzing, one in German and one in English, um, and they are both related to plant mechanisms in particular. So yeah, I'm really excited about the coming weeks. Hi, my name is Rena, and as you heard from Emmeline last week, we're working with two books from the special collection. So far, the experience has been really, really good, and I enjoy working on the project. I'm actually looking into the German book we choose, and it is super interesting because it, it is written in old German. But of course, there also have been some minor struggles involved. For example, to find some good books and papers and just additional um, information um, that is also available digitally, not only as a hard copy. But luckily, we got some tips and tricks that um, helped us. Um, for example, the spelling back in the day from the names was not very consistent, and therefore different spelling methods really help to find more sources. Also to look for a person as a, a topic and not of as an author helped. And I could find more sources that help me writing the report and also the Wikipedia article. So I'm looking forward how the Wikipedia article and the report will progress in the next week. And yeah. Hi there, my name is Nina. I'm a second year student at MSP and together with my group, we are working with the special collection from the library. In the previous weeks, Emmeline and Verena already showed you the introduction of our project, what it is all about and how our research went. Now, after hours and hours of reading and writing, we finally reached week three, which means that we finished our Wikipedia articles. One of the things I personally struggled during this project was actually finding the right writing style for the Wikipedia article. I never knew that it was so strict if you actually want to do it correctly and it definitely took a lot of time to get used to. This reminded me that feedback is actually the key to your solutions. Don't hesitate to ask for outside opinions, especially if it's a new format that you're not too familiar with. We were super lucky because we got to work together with Romain from Wikimedia Netherlands and we ended up sending our draft a couple of times back and forth with him to get as much feedback as we could and to make sure that our article was appropriate. Feedback may be harsh, but it is incredibly helpful. In the end, everyone has the same goal and just wants you to reach your full potential. It was actually a nice motivation to hear from someone outside that your writing is improving and that you're going into the right direction. This is something to keep in mind for the future and um, all the academic writing you're going to encounter. Now we finally handed it in and hopefully it's going to be published very soon. Stay tuned for next week to see how our last week of this project period went. Hi, I'm Nina and welcome to the last update regarding our project. We finally finished our final report and handed it in, which also means that we had our meeting to publish our Wikipedia articles. They are both now online and free accessible to everyone. If you want to hear more about them, feel free to continue listening to Verena. So as you just heard from Nina, we finished our project and we are super happy with it. The last week was of course still super interesting, but also intense because we wrapped up the report and finally published our two Wikipedia articles. And if you're also interested in the articles, you can just do a quick search for the nervous mechanism of plants and the physiological plant anatomy and it will lead you straight to the articles. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did and thanks for following along.